Hey guys, my name is Rugila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I will show you a tutorial of how I customize my iPhone with the new iOS 14 update because a lot of people requested this video so here I am filming it. Okay, so first of all here you can see a little overview of how my phone looks right now and honestly I'm so obsessed with it. I think I just found my new aesthetic actually. So first of all, I will quickly show you how you can download the new update if you haven't and if you already did this, then you can just skip this part of the video because I have a timestamp so you just can skip further. So first of all, you want to go into settings and then go into general and then you have software update and I have already updated mine so it doesn't show anything but your update should be just right here so you just click update and here you have the new iOS 14 okay so once you have your update the first thing I did was to just get rid of all the apps I don't really need because this new update you have a thing called app library and you can basically get rid of all the apps you don't need every day from your home screen and they will still be on your phone but they will be in this app library and you can find all of them right here okay so let's say I don't use Facebook every day so to get rid of this I would just hold the app and then click remove app and here I have two options I can either delete the app or move to app library and if you click move to app library it just isn't on your home screen anymore but you still have the app so you just swipe to the right and there you have your app library and there you have your Facebook okay so once you get rid of all of the apps you don't really need and decide which ones you want to keep on your home screen and which ones you want to have in your app library then it's time for a really fun part and it's to customize the app cover so first of all you of course want to have a really nice wallpaper because that's the whole point of real matching and nice looking iPhone so I found my wallpaper on Pinterest and I just searched for I think minimal background and you have a lot of wallpapers right here I will also link mine in the description if you want to check it out so with your app covers you can get really really creative because you can either upload a picture of it but I actually customized all of these icons myself and I will show you how to do that in a quick minute completely for free but before you customize all these apps you just have to keep in mind that when you click on the app it takes a quick second because it opens shortcuts first and then goes to the app so if you don't want to get through this every time you open your app then I would suggest staying with the alt covers but I don't know for me I didn't really care about this thing so I just decided to customize the app covers anyway but I just wanted to mention it to you because customizing all these covers takes a long time and if you don't like it in the end then it would be a real shame so yeah okay so now I'm going to show you how I actually customize these covers so I use the app called Canva. So when you open your app, I chose the option Instagram story and I just click blank. And now what I did, I went to the camera roll option and inserted my background. So I would just have it in the corner because when you do that, you have the option photo colors and you literally have the exact same shades that are in your wallpaper. And that's basically the key for your wallpaper and app icons to match. So I really recommend doing it. So now that I have my colors, I'm going to choose the color that I want to have in the background of all my app covers. So I'm just going to select the lightest color and I'm going to click the little rainbow icon and when I do that I want to make it a bit lighter so once I'm happy with the color I just click OK and now to make the little elements on my covers I'm going to click a little plus button and go into the elements and now we can find a lot of different things completely for free so you just basically have to decide what is your aesthetic, what you want your app covers to look like and for example I'm going to make a cover for my Instagram so you can either just type Instagram and you have the literal Instagram logo but you can also get more creative with this so for example you can search for a camera and just pick whatever looks cute for you so this one looks actually really cute for me and here you have the option to change the colors but just be careful with it because some elements don't have this option so 
just make sure you can do this so once I have my element on my background I'm going to adjust the colors and I'm going to go to photo colors and just see whatever looks good you can also click a little rainbow icon here and make them lighter or make them darker just see whatever looks good for you but here you can see if it matches your wallpaper or not once I'm happy of how it looks like I'm just going to click save and I will have this design in my gallery and don't worry about that little wallpaper thing going on in the top because it won't be seen in your cover it's completely fine so yeah I saved this picture and now we will actually create the cover for the app so for this step you want to go into the app called shortcuts so you just open the app and actually this part was a bit tricky for me not gonna lie but once you get used to it it's completely fine i promise it's not as hard as it looks for the first time so yeah once you have your shortcuts app open you just click a little plus button on the top of your phone and you have a new shortcut so now you want to click an option add action and now you just click an option scripting now you have another option open app so you just click on that so yeah when you click choose app you're going to search for the app you need so i'm going to make this curve for instagram so i'm going to search for instagram and now your screen should look like this so once you have your shortcut set up you want to click these three little blue dots on the top of your phone and now you have the option called shortcut name so this won't really show on your home screen so you just can name it instagram it doesn't really matter so you could add this thing to your home screen you just click add to home screen and now this name will actually show onto your home screen so i'm going to call it i really like how it looks when you just add a little spaces between your letters and here i have my instagram and now to add your picture that we just created i'm just going to click this little orange thingy near our name and i have an option choose photo so i'm going to click that and here it takes us to our gallery and here i have my little icon so i'm just going to select this photo and I'm just going to resize it. Yeah, I think this is okay. I'm going to select choose. And here you have your little icon so you can preview it, adjust it again if you want to. And now I'm just going to click add and this will be on our home screen. And here we have the app. But once you do that, you still have the original Instagram icon on your home screen. So to remove it, you just hold on it, click remove app and click move to app library. And here you have just your only beautiful Instagram icon. Okay, so once you have your icons, you can see that on my home screen, I also have these little pictures, calendar, thingy and quotes. To create these little widgets, you're going to need an app called Widgetsmith. So if you want to download it, you just go into your app store and just search for the app Widgetsmith. And here we have it, I've already downloaded. And then you just open the app and here's how it looks. So you go into the section called widgets and here you can see I have my widgets. So you have an option to create a large widget, a medium widget or a small widget. So let's say I want to create a small widget. So I'm just going to select an option odd small widget and here I have it. So it's called small five. So I'm just going to select that and you can see that now it doesn't look really cute. So you just click on the widget again and now you can basically choose however you want your widget to look like so you can add a clock, a date, a little calendar or a picture so let's say I want to create that calendar icon I have on my home screen so I'm just going to select month and now you can also choose the font so I really like the font called New York because I think it really matches my aesthetic but you can select the font that looks best for you and now you can also select background color and you have a lot of pretty cute colors in here so let's say i want to select this pale pink and you can also add a little border on it and you can also select tint color so this is the color of the text in your widget so let's say i want to select black and now here i have my customized widget so to add it on my home screen i just press and hold on my home screen and here we have this little plus button on the top you just scroll down onto the option widgetsmith and you just click on that 
and here you have your widgets. It doesn't matter which one you created. If you created small, then click on small. If you created medium, then click on medium. But since we created small, then I'm going to select small and click add widget. And you can see that this is not the widget that I've created. To change that, you just hold on to the widget and click edit it. And now you just click on the widget again. And now you can choose which of them you want to have on your home screen. So the one we created was fifth one. So I'm just going to click on small five and just tap on my home screen. Okay, so now you can see that we have the widget that we just created. And yeah, it looks really cute. So that's basically how you do that. And if let's say you want to add a picture on it, then just we're just going to go into the app again and just add small widget and click again and you just select an option photo and you click selected photo and you just choose whatever picture you want to have so let's say i want to have this pretty picture of paris so i just click that and just click back and click save and now if we go to our home screen, hold it, click a little plus button, go to the widget smith and select odd widget and then edit it and select small 6. Here we have our beautiful Paris widget, so that's basically how you add the picture on it. So yeah, this is how I customize these little widgets. I just have a calendar, a little quote from Pinterest, which I really, really love. It says flowers need time to bloom. I just think it's really meaningful. And then I have this little picture of Chanel because it just looks aesthetic. <laughs> and then on the second screen, I have this little picture of the beach because I'm obsessed with beach. So yeah. Okay, guys. So this was my tutorial of how I created this aesthetic looking iPhone home screen with the new iOS 14. So I hope you like this video, I hope you found something useful. And yes, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a nice comment because I really love to chat with you guys in the comments, and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos because we would really really love to have you here. And that was it for this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!